Good morning, beautiful second graders. I am so excited for this class because you are loving multiplications and you are doing a great job. I am so, so, so proud of you. And guess what? Every time they get a little more tricky, but you are so smart that I am sure you are going to get it. So let's see how we're going to multiply today, OK? It's exactly like what we did yesterday. You follow the same steps that I put them again in here. Remember, first, it is kind of like the additions and subtractions, OK? We always look first at the ones, OK? So it becomes a multiplication that you already know, just a times table, OK? So it's 2 times 3. That means that 2 we repeat it three times, like it is here. 2 one time, 2 times, 3 times the number 2. OK, so 2 times 3. Or remember, you can say 3 times 2, OK? So how much is 3 times 2? Remember, you can use your song. 3, 3, 6, 9, 12. OK, so by 2 is 3, 6, OK? And here you can see it, 2, 4, 6. So let's write it. 3 times 2, 6. That's easy, right? Easy peasy, like you like to say it. Now that we finish, multiply the ones by 3. We already multiplied the ones. Remember, these are the ones. We repeat it three times. Now we go to the tens. OK, now here. And we have the num that we have four tens, one, two, three, four tens, and we also repeat it three times. That's why we say four, and we repeat it three times again. Okay, so four times three, or three times four. Let's say the three times table because some of you still don't know the four. So don't worry, just say the three times tables. And if you don't know it. You can either draw the picture or go and listen to the song of the three, OK, or the chant. Let's do it. Three times four. First, check where we have to stop. One, two, three, four. That means I stop here. Ready? So let's say it. Three, six, nine, twelve. OK, so three times four is twelve. But now here comes what we do in additions and subtractions. Regrouping. Regrouping. Remember that we can never have a number in one of the places. That means here we cannot have a number bigger than, who remembers? If you said 9, you are perfect. Remember, we always stop in the 9. If we get to 10, that's when zero, the hero comes. We make a group, remember, and we pass it to the next place. This way, because the, the video is backwards. You pass it to the next place, OK? So 4 times 3 is 12. I cannot put the 12 here exactly in the 10th place, no. It's almost like the way you do additions and subtractions. Usually, you put the 1 at the top and the 12 down, OK? But when we put the 1 on the top, it's because we, we have another number here. But because we don't have another number here, we just bring this one here. But just don't put it exactly in the tens place. Just put it a little bit back, like in the hundreds place. Usually, when you don't have more numbers here and you are regrouping, you just put the last number like under the symbol. It's the same in addition, subtractions, and now in multiplications. So four times four times three is twelve. So we do put the twelve. The only thing is that just put it a little separate because the one 
see what happens. Now let's look at it here, why we have to put it in the hundreds. So here we have the four, four tens, and we repeat it three times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, that's two times. One, two, three, four, three times. So we have four circles of 10, four, other four, other four, okay? How many are there in all? 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And again, we cannot have a number bigger than nine. And we have twelve. So what do we do? All these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, we make groups of ten. All these we are going to change them for one of these because remember let me start changing them so you can see that what i am saying it's true so let's count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this ten that we had here we regroup them we take them out and they become one group of a hundred because ten plus other ten is twenty other ten thirty forty fifty sixty seventy eighty ninety 100 okay so all these become one of a hundred so do you see in the tens we only have two that's why we put two only in the tens okay that two stays in the tens and the hundred it goes with the two like one and two one and two but just put it a little bit in the back in the hundreds place that's the only thing okay so let me leave them back because we're going to do other example. Okay, so I forgot to tell you before we did do this that remember, when you have a multiplication like this, not even I can always do it on my head. Remember, it's easier if you just turn it vertical, okay? Whenever you have an exam, a quiz, and it's like this, horizontal or landscape, don't worry and don't go crazy and say, ah, how I do this? Just turn it on your whiteboard or your paper vertical, like here. The 42 and the 3 in the ones, okay? So we're going to do another one. But look, I'm going to leave the same number we are just gonna add a little more i had it ready here so now let's see how i have to change my numbers how many do i have on the first array one two three four tens that means 40 41 42 43 so that means my new multiplication is 43 and let's change it here to uh, 43 and how many times are we repeating the 43 one time two times the 43 three times four times five times so we have the 43 five times let's write it 43 five five, five times Huh, what did I do? Why is it white here now? This is weird. Maybe I have to make it longer. What's happening here? Ah, okay. Yeah, I have to make it longer. There it is. 43 times 5. Let's change it here to 43 times 5. So here we have it horizontal or landscape, just turn it vertical. And the same process. Three times five. 
or five times three. Here is the three, five times. One time, two times, three times, four times, five times. But again, for the multiplication, do it as you wish. Three times five or five times three. Let's do the three times tables, okay? If we're doing it by threes, we stop in the one, two, three, four, five. The ones that already know the song, you know what goes here, like we do it. So without doing it, you know it by memory. But let's sing it for the ones that still don't know the song. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Excellent. Now here is the same thing, but now in the ones. Can I just put here 15 in the ones place? No, right? Until what number can we have? Exactly, until nine. The ones that said nine, give me five. Remember, you can have until nine in each place. Until nine in the ones, until nine in the tens, until nine in the hundred. And later, until nine in the thousands, always nine, 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 nine. If you get a bigger number, even 10 or 11, 12 or 20 something, you regroup, okay? So let's do it with the circle so you can see. I can take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, we make groups of ten. So these ten ones become one of this. So this, we move it from here, it becomes this one, and we put it here. All these become this one in here, remember? So that means that this one, we just put it at the top, like in additions and subtractions. Because yes, I have a number here, I don't put the one down, okay? I have to put it up, remember that, okay? In the last one, we didn't have a number here, that, that's why we just put it down. But here, yes, we have a number on the next place, so the one of the 15 goes here. Again, this is the one. Let's put it on the top if you want so you don't get confused. Here it is. Let's move them all down. There it is. Okay, so this that we regroup from here, we pass it to the top. Okay, so now we had four, four times. I mean the four, one, two, three, four, okay? And actually this is, again, remember this is 10, okay? Now we have five, four, well, first let's multiply. Five times four, 20, okay? This five times four, I know, let's use other color so you can see it. This five times four, okay, or four times five is 20. That's this one, okay? And then we say plus one more, that is this one at the top, okay? Five times four or four times five, 20. And one more that is at the top, 21, okay, remember again, here is what we just learned. We cannot put the 21 here. Just put the two in the back, maybe under the X, but that's the hundreds and the one, okay? Now here we did it with the disks, so you understand why we regroup. But it's the same as in additions that you already know how to do it. So now let's practice without the disks. Hey, look at this page. This looks like a big boy's page. You are learning to do the most important thing of second grade. Okay? So let's do it now. I am not going to put disks, anything just like that. 
So like always, and like in additions and subtractions, we always begin with the ones. So two times four or four times two is eight, okay? For the ones that don't know it, remember it's just a repeated addition. Two, four, six, eight. Counting by twos, other twos, other twos, other twos. Two times four is eight, okay? Now we do the tens also four times. The tens, that is five, four times. So five times four, 20. We put, or four times five. If you still don't know the five, do the four times tables, or just count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, okay? So again, we put the 20, just put the two, a little separate, and the zero here. Remember, we don't put it here, the two, because we don't have a number. So just put it down, the 20, normal. Five times four, 20, just put it separate, okay? The next, first we do the ones, the three, three times, or three times three. Three, six, nine. Excellent. So this is nine. And now we do the tens. Also, we repeat it three times. So let's do the three times four or four times three. Let's do the three because that's the one that everyone already, almost everyone knows. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. Okay, but again, three times four, three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, so four times three or three times four is twelve. Can I put it like this? No, right? Because I don't have more numbers. So just put the twelve normal. Put just put it a little bit separate. Okay, yeah, the two has to be in the tens. And the one has to be in the hundreds. Even we don't have hundreds here, but in the answer, yes, put it in the hundreds. Okay? The next. Always the ones repeated four times. Remember the number at the bottom here tells you how many times you repeat it or multiply it. Four times four? Four, eight, twelve. 16, 20. So what did we say here? Let's do it again. 4, 8, 12, 16, exactly. So 4 times 4 is 16. Can I put the 16 here, like in additions? No, very good, the ones that said no. So the only difference is that, yes, we put the 16, but like that, in the same order, but just separate, okay? The one of the 16 here, and the six here, 16, okay? Now we go to the tens. In the tens we have three, and we multiply times four. I also, we repeat it four times. So only this, right now don't look at the regrouping. Three times four, let's do it. Three, six, nine, 12. So it's 12, three times four is 12. And like in additions, we say plus the one on the top is 13. Okay? Easy or difficult? What do you think? Don't worry. <clears throat> Sorry. We are going to be practicing this a lot of times. Okay? The next. Always begin with the ones and we repeat it three times. Five times three or three times five. Let's do it. Three, six, nine, twelve. Fifteen. Very good. So can I put fifteen here? No, Miss Money. Very good. We just put it separate. Like in additions. Okay. Now it's that two and we also repeat it three times. Okay. So two times three, two, I, two 
other two, four, other two, six. Or do the three. Three, six. You see, so easy. So three times two is six. Plus one more. Excellent. Seven. Excellent. And the last one, and then you go to do your work. Like even I have said it, I will repeat it. First, do the ones, the ones at the top, eight, and we repeat it three times. Don't say miss, but we don't know the eight times tables. Well, just say three times eight. So let's do three. And first, see where you have to stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we stop here, okay? Let's do it. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. Okay, so three times eight is twenty-four. Why? How you raise the line? Let me. It's better to erase it like this. Okay. Again, three times eight, twenty-four. I will repeat it. Can I put 24 in the ones place in this line? No, I can't. So we just put it separate. That two here in the tens and four, 24. Because remember, even in the normal 24, it's these are the ones, these are the tens. That's why the two has to be in the tens. Okay? Why this happen? There it is. So the last one. Now we do the six three times. How much is six times three or three times six? This is the, this is the six, so we stop here. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Excellent. So three times six is eighteen plus other two, it's 18, leave it here. Don't put 18 and count it, no, because we're starting with 18. Say 18 only in your head and two more. 19, 20. 18, 19, 20. So three times six is 18 and two more, 20. We put it separate. Okay, boys, this is what we're going to do Take your time, don't rush. You are only going to do four multiplications. You can do it directly here. Don't do these three on your whiteboard. Well, no, yeah, because you are going to regroup. So yes, copy them in your whiteboard because you will have to put the one. Here in your Google Slides, don't put the one at the top. Don't put it, okay? In your whiteboard, yes. So here, just do two times one, put your answer here. Why is not checking? There it is. I was like, what's happening there? Then, ah, my computer is too slow. Then two times eight, okay, and put your answer here. Actually, I just noticed that, yes, I have to put this one. Ah, no, I'm going to add here in front of you. But I don't know what's happening to my computer. I'm going to add the hundreds and what color is the hundreds? I think it was pink. Okay, I'm going to put the hundreds because maybe you have to regroup the hundreds. Okay, so this is all that you are doing today. And in this one, remember, find the product. Remember, the product means the answer of the multiplication. We saw it yesterday. So that means just put 64 on your whiteboard and below or down put the 2 and do the normal multiplication. So remember, you can watch this video two times, three times. You can pause the video on every step, then do it here. Then Watch the video again, pass it for the tens, and then do it here and like that. Okay, so you review all the steps. Excellent. Well, good luck, boys. Give me five and 
go and do your best.